Hi guys, so today I'm going to decorate my magic band. This is what I did last year, kind of blinged it all out, and this is what I'm doing again. Um, and then I'm also going to do something a little different for Epis. I'm going to do some swirls. So I first wanted to show you all the tools that I have to do this, and then we're going to get right into it. So before we get down into actually doing the bands, I wanted to show you some details as well as some of the tools I'm using, but first I wanted to start off by showing you the actual band from last year. Um, I saw this idea off Facebook, off of one of um, a Disney group. If I remember which one it is, I'll type it. But I covered the whole thing in gems. Um, this is about eight months old now. It held up through uh, all of the parks use, but you can tell it's starting to kind of come off now. But everything lasted. Uh, through my entire 16-day vacation. So I will say this, it lasts very long um, and does a good job. The one thing to note when you're decorating your magic band in any sense, you want to keep the Mickey uncovered because that's where the scanner is. If you cover it with anything, um, besi besides nail polish a lot of people use, I don't think that affects it, you won't be able to scan your band. So I had to make sure that was uncovered and it left a little bit of detail and still seemed Disney. This is the new band for this year. Um, this is, I believe, Magic Band 2.0 is what they're calling it. So this entire little puck comes out so you don't have to wear it as a bracelet. Um, there are screws right in the back there and there. Um, and you can unscrew it and put it into a clip so you can clip it onto a belt loop as well. So this year I'm going to keep this entire piece uncovered just in case there's extra there's, uh, scanning things in that puck rather than just the Mickey. I'd rather be safe than sorry with that. Um, for my friend Epi's band, I'm going to be doing swirls of gems throughout the band. So it's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna do this one last because I've never done this. Um, and I'm gonna do this way, this, this one, the same way I did this one. One other thing I wanted to add about this band is throughout the park while I was there, it catches the light in the park and I got so many compliments not only from cast members when I was scanning the man but just from parks that kind of got the glare from it from uh, it catching the sun being in the park so that's especially why I love this band because it's just it's so different than anything you see in the park with some of the painted bands um, it'll just catch your eye so some of the first things you need is I have a TV tray down on my lap um, with a piece of black felt so I can see all the little gems as an example you can see the gem rather than it just being on the wood. Um, it's very easy to catch. The next thing you'll need, of course, is the gems. I got these at AC Moore. You can find them in the scrapbooking area. I found these in the jewelry area. Um, I got them on clearance because some of them are falling off. They are um, SS16 heat set crystals. I am not using heat. I'm going to use glue to set them. Um, and this is exactly what I used last time and it worked fine. You can get sticky back ones. I, I still recommend using glue even if you use the stick back ones because they can still come off. This is just the brand that I used. I'm not using any of the instructions on the back on how to heat set them. I'm just using glue and just using these. Um, any other kind of gem is fine. You get smaller or bigger. I like the size of these. Um, I thought they caught the light the best. The next thing I'm using is E6000 glue. I just got a tiny um, container of this. This held on incredibly. Um, even while I was doing it, I remember having a problem with glue sticking on things. So just be careful when you use this. It is very strong glue um, and it can be used on the Magic Band itself. It does not damage um, any part of it. So the first thing that you want to do with this band is you want to see your size. You want to see what's comfortable for you. I know I wear it on my right hand and I I know from past experience I am on one of the last settings. So now that I have the band on you want to see what's comfortable for you. You're going to be wearing this in not 80, 90 degree heat so you want to make sure it's comfortable. There's going to be room if, in case you swell. Um, I just know that is my size. There is a little Mickey decal down here 
So you're welcome to cover that up. I cover it up. I don't find a need to leave it uncovered, but that's up to personal preference. So I'm going to start with my magic band first. All I need to do this simple design is I need the E6000 and I am leaving the packaging from it because after I use the glue, I'm just going to use it to rest there. So if any glue drips out, it's not going to get on my board. It's going to get on some garbage um, and I have my gems. I'm just going to use one package of gems at a time um, so I can kind of keep it mess free and as organized as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get the gems out onto your workstation. I have all my gems here to get them into a little pile. You can get fancier gems. I've seen Swarovski crystal gems. I've seen um, all different kinds. I just went with the cheapest I could find because I'm going to Disney. If they fall off, I don't want to be worried about dropping gems. So the E6000 has one of those. You just pierce it. Yep, I think I got it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the solid end and I just squeeze a little and I spread it with the tip. And then with my finger, I'm gonna press down for a gem. Just press it and move it into place, just like that. Going, um, I do small patches of glue so I can uh, keep keep the glue wet um, so they'll stick. If you do too much glue at once, you will lose um, how tacky it is, and you'll have to just keep putting more. So as you can see, I just have a small patch going and periodically I will push it down to get them to stick. And if you have one fall off just like that, you can just go ahead and put a little bit of glue and put it back on. So I'm going to use a toothpick because I have this little area to help spread some of my glue. I just found toothpicks being on hand. just very easy. It's going to be an easy way to grab some glue if you need it, as well as spread it. Especially when you have those little tiny areas where you need to get glue. You can also use a um, tiny brush to do this. I just found a toothpick to be something I had in the house rather than going and spending money on it. Great, I have one left. So, that is how far 125 got me. I think I lost two in the process. You can see, it really does look great. The smaller you go, of course, the more bling you're gonna get with this. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. This band takes about two and a half packs of the 125, um, just about. So I'm going to take a quick break, let this set a bit, um, and then we'll get going on the other half of it. So I am a little further down. I'm getting down to where the holes are, where the snaps go through. Mine snaps in right here. So I am going to cover these holes. Um, but if you don't know where it snaps or you're doing this for somebody else, definitely leave those holes open um, so they can snap through. But I am thinking this looks great right now. Um, this is all I have left of that second package. So hopefully I'll get to about here and then I'll have to use a little bit more of the third package and then we can get going on epis. But this so far has maybe taken me a half an hour to 45 minutes, this whole thing. So you can do this in stages. Um, last time I just kind of put on some Disney music, watched some YouTube videos and got this all done in about an hour. I just finished the Magic Band and I really like the way it looked. I actually really like the way it looks. Um, it looks kind of clean rather than my last one, which I'll grab to show you. Um, the Mickey was just a small little cut. I like the way it looks here. They are both very unique, but I really do like that. Now I'm going to get to work on Epi's band. 
I just got off FaceTime with Epi, and so what she wants is she wants swirls. Instead of doing the whole magic band, she just wants lines of gems. So what I did was I just took a Sharpie marker and kind of traced out where I'm going to do the swirls. Um, and I'll put glue right there and cover the lines of Sharpie with the gems. That's what I'm doing so far. I'm not sure I may do a little, I may cover that as a hidden Mickey just to give it a little more oomph. So to put the gems on, it's still going to be the same process. I'm just going to use a gentler hand to use the glue rather than smearing it on. I'm going to do delicate lines of glue and make sure it's a little bit smaller. Um, if the lines of glue don't work, I'm going to individually glue each gem and put it on. I'm going to see what works the best and I'll let you know. So I just finished both magic bands. I did Epi's. Um, she just wanted it to extend a little more as well as I hit a Mickey in the corner. Um, I love both of them equally. I think they're so different and they'll really stand out in the parks, um, which is the reason I'm doing this. Definitely leave a comment down below. Tell us what you liked about our videos and what you want to see more of. Like our video as well and subscribe. Don't forget to also share with your friends. Thanks guys. Bye.